Hi guys, I am Prachi and today I'll be solving one problem from Code Chef February Long Challenge. The name of the problem is No Change Required. Now let us see the problem statement. Uh, take a few minutes to read the problem statement and then we'll get to the explanation part of it. It says that Chef lives in a country that uses coins of n denominations and for each valid i, one coin of denomination i is worth di cents. Let us see what does that mean. There are n different denomination coins. The different denomination means like we have a 2 cent coin, 4 cent coin, 5 cent coin, 7 cent coins. So these four are the different denominations that we have. And also in the problem it is very well mentioned that we can use any number of coins as we want. Means there is no restriction on the number of coins of each denomination that we have. Now the second part of the question is that there is a bus driver and we have to pay P cents for the ticket to the bus driver. And the coins that we have, only these coins can be used to pay the bus driver for the ticket. Now let us take an example to understand how this works. Suppose you need to pay 12 cents to the driver for the ticket. And the denomination of coins that you have is 2 and 5. Now in this case, what is the first thing that comes to your mind that how you can pay the driver? Just think about it. If you need to pay 12 cents, then obviously you will select 2 5 cent coins as you can see you have selected two 5 cent coins which is equivalent to 10 rupees so the leftover cents that you need to pay will be 2 cents the, this is the leftover cent that is uh, still left to pay so now you have a two denomination coin as well so for that you will select one two denomination coin you have selected one two denomination coin so a total of 12 cents have been paid to the bus driver. But does the question want this? No. The question says that we need to overpay the driver. How can we overpay the driver? Now let us see that. Taking the same example, what are we doing? We are paying two 5 cent coins which is equivalent to 10 rupees. That we are doing the same. How we will overpay? So now 2 rupees was left. So instead of paying just one 2 rupee coin, instead of paying just one 2 cent coin, we can pay two 2 cent coins. And then it will be equivalent to 4 cents. So this extra 2 cent coin, this is what we are paying the bus driver extra. And it becomes equivalent to 14 cents. It will become equivalent to 14 cents and the 2 cents that we have paid is extra. But the question says one more thing, one more condition that needs to be checked. And that condition is that if any coin is removed from this multiset, selected to overpay, then the total worth of the remaining coins must be strictly smaller than P cents. Let us check if this is the scenario here. So you have paid the driver 14 cents. Now if you remove one 2 cent coin from 14 cents, then you will have 12 cents left. You have removed one 2 cent coin, you have 12 cents left. But this is equivalent to original P cents, which was also 12 cents. So this cannot be selected. This scenario is wrong. So, how are we supposed to select the multiset then? Let us see. How can we select the correct multiset for the problem? For the same example, the largest denomination that you have is 5. And 12 is not divisible by 5. As you can see, 12 by 5, it will give you 2 point something. So this is not divisible. So what you need to do 
you just need to take three five cent coins instead because it is giving two point something. So you will take one extra five cent coin and pay that bus driver 15 cents. Now 15 cents is more than 12 cents. So you have over, overpaid the driver. Now let us check if the condition is valid. Now if you remove one five cent coin from 15 cents, then you get 10 cents and 10 cents is less than 12 cents. So this multi set can be selected because uh, the because on removing one coin from the 15 cents, we are getting less than P, which was the condition we needed to satisfy. So this is how this is the correct way of selecting the multi set. Now, let us see what the problem actually wants us to print. What is the output and what are the constraints? First, let us see the output. In the output, we need to print that if it is impossible for someone to be forced to overpay, then print a single line that is no. And otherwise, if it is possible to overpay, then we, what we need to print? We need to print yes, followed by the frequency of each denomination that we have paid. So this is how the output has to be there. One more thing that has to be kept in mind is that the denominations are given to us in ascending order. Yes, so this will help us a lot in understanding the problem. Let us see how. First, let us see this case when it will be impossible to be forced to overpay. And in such a case, we will print no. Now, suppose we need to pay the driver 20 cents and the given denominations that we have are 1 and 5. So now, first check, P is 20. Is 20 divisible by 5? 5, that is the last denomination, the highest denomination coin. Is it divisible by 5? So the answer is yes, it is divisible by 5. So what we will select? We will select uh, 20 by 5 minus 1. Here are, I have not written it, but you will select 20 by 5 minus 1. As you can see, I have selected 3 5 cent coins here and not 4. We know that 5 into 4 is 20. That is 20 by 5 equals to 4. But you will not select 4 because then that condition will be falsified in which when you minus one coin from the original from the amount that you are paying the driver then it should always strictly be less than p that condition will be falsified if you pay if you select four five cent coins so i have only selected three five cent coins here now uh, 5 into 3 is 15 so you have 15 cents you have already selected and you are paying it so now the leftover will be 5. The denomination which we just used, it will always be that denomination, the leftover P cents. Now again check. Now check for, now select denomination 1 and check if the leftover P which is 5 is divisible by 1. So yes, it is divisible by 1. So again, if we try to select 5 by 1 minus 1, then it gives 0. So we cannot select any 1 cent coins. So now you see that this in this case, it is just impossible. There is no possible way of selecting a multi set, multi -set such that if any coin is removed, then total worth of remaining coins must be strictly smaller than P cents. So there is no way. Just see this example here. We have selected six one cent coins, three five cent coins. And the result is we are paying 21 cents to the driver. But is this correct? Well, no. Why is this not correct? Because if you remove one one cent coin from 21, it will be equivalent to 20, which is the original P. And we do not want this. So this case is a total no. 
you cannot pay you cannot overpay in this case what is the basic trick of this question the basic just see this test case which is given in the question here we are supposed to pay 25 cents and we have denominations 3 5 and 10 so the ideal situation would always be to select the minimum amount of overpay that we need to give the driver. So for the minimum overpay, this is the scenario which was given to us that uh, two 10 cent coins which will be equivalent to 20 and two 3 cent coins which will be equivalent to 6. And it follows all the conditions that we need to keep in mind. So the answer is yes 202. The, that is the frequency but is there any other multi set apart from this that you can select uh, to rightly overpay well the answer is yes because if you read the question carefully there is in no place given that you only need to select the minimum overpay set so you can select any multi set of your choice which is overpaying the driver. So we can also do this another way. First of all, select the highest one, highest denomination 10. Then check, is P divisible by 10? Is 25 divisible by 10? The answer is no. It will give 2 point something. So we will select 2. 25 by 10, ka we will select 2. And then plus 1. Why are we doing plus 1? Because P is not divisible by 10. So if we, if we select one more 10 cent coin and then minus 10 cent from it, from 30 cents, then it will always be less than 25 cents. As you can see, we have selected three 10 cent coins and it is equivalent to 30, which is greater than 25 cents. So we have overpaid the driver. Here the answer is yes, 003 it is depicting that uh, 0, 3 cent coins, 0, 5 cent coins and 3, 10 cent coins. Now checking the condition that from 30 if you remove 1, 10 cent coin it is still less than 25. So this condition is correct. This is the basic trick of this question. And now this last example will make you understand each and everything that you need to know about this question. Suppose that you need to pay 30 cents to the driver and the denominations that you have is 3, 4 and 10. Now, first of all, like we did earlier, select the highest denomination that is 10 and check the divisibility. Is 30 divisible by 10? The answer is yes. So if, if it is divisible, then we will select P divided by D minus 1. If it is divisible, then select P divided by D minus 1. That means we cannot select 10 into 330. Why? Because it will be e exactly equal to P, which we do not want. So that is why we select one less. 3 minus 1 is 2. So the frequency of 10 cent coin that we are selecting is 2. Now, after selecting this uh, 2, 10 into 2 is 20. So remove 20 from 30 cents. The leftover will be 10. 10 is the leftover. Now check with 4. The next denomination in line is 4. So we will check with 4. Now. Is 10 divisible by 4? The answer is no. It is not divisible by 4. When it is not divisible by 4, then what you need to do is select P by D plus 1. This is the frequency that you need to apply or select. So what we have done, we have selected 10 divided by 4, which is 2 point something. So we have selected 2 and plus 1. So the frequency of 4 cent coins that we will pay is 3. So this is the answer. This is the answer to your question. It will be yes, 032.
zero three cent coins, three four cent coins, and two ten cent coins. It will be equivalent to thirty-two, and thirty-two is greater than thirty. Now let us also check if it is following that condition where we remove one coin, then it will be less than thirty or p cents. Just see, we have selected ten and four cent coins for paying thirty-two. So if thirty-two minus ten is done, then also it will be less than thirty. If thirty-two minus four is done, then also it will be less than thirty. So this condition is correct. So this is what we really need to do in this question. Now let us discuss the algorithm, the final step of the question. What are the variables that we have used? N, as you all know, it is given in the question. It is denoting the number of denominations. P, it is the amount that we need to pay for the ticket. D is an array of size n which stores the denomination of coins. Then I, I have taken as a loop counter variable and frequency array. I have taken this to store the frequency of each denomination that we will be paying. So first, what we need to do is the first step of the algorithm will be. to fill this frequency array which is of size n to 0 so initially all the frequencies of each denomination that we are paying is 0 now we need to fill this so how we are going to do that run a loop run a reverse loop from n minus 1 to 0 that is the last denomination to first denomination because the last denomination is the maximum denomination coin then check if p cents are divisible by d of i d of i contains the last denomination means it will move from last to first denomination so that is d of i so now check if p is divisible by d of i if yes then then you need to uh, select p divided by d of i minus 1 as i have told you before you will you cannot select the entire thing because if you select this entire p divided by d of i and not minus 1 as the frequency then what will happen that it will become exactly equal to p and which we do not want so we select minus 1 and the leftover uh, p cents will be the denomination that we have used so that will be the leftover the second part is when it comes to else now in else it means that p is not divisible by d of i so when the uh, p cents is not divisible by the denomination then we will select p divided by d of i plus 1 because that is the end because that is the only thing that we need to select that is the only denomination that we need to select after that and then make p equal to 0 because we don't need to check further obviously we are overpaying here only p will automatically become zero and then we'll come out of this loop if it goes in the else part then we will break here so it will come out of the loop after coming out of the loop if we find that p is zero then our answer is yes because we have made p zero here after overpaying so print yes and the frequency array in the same line with a single space so this you can do in whatever programming language you are making the program you can do that in that programming language or else if p is not equal to 0 then your answer will always and always be no so this is the algorithm for the problem i hope that uh, you have understood the problem well So guys this was a purely mathematical logic building problem and i hope that this problem is clear to you now and you will be able to code this problem in python java c++ or whichever programming language of your choice that you use happy coding everyone